back from the Bar Z Summer Bash. Just a quick video to kind of wrap up the experience, which was mind blowing. Um, lots of swag that we got. Um, bought some stuff at the um, at the swap. We had a little swap meet kind of event. A lot of people brought stuff, so bought a uh, box full of stuff. Won some great door prizes. As did lots of other people. There was a there were two tables covered, completely covered with prizes donated either by sponsors or by the YouTube creators themselves. Um, you've seen other videos about who was there, so I'm not going to go into all that. Um, uh, some uh, people that I've been meaning to meet. Um, Keith Rucker from VintageMachinery.com um, uh, won the hat, and uh, great to meet him. Um, met a lot of other guys. I mean, tons of other guys. Herb Blair, John Saunders. I, I kind of rode around with them for the weekend. Uh, we were st staying at the same hotel. That's an experience we'll go into shortly. Um, there is some humor there, um, but for future reference. Don't ever, ever, ever stay at the Ontario Airport Inn. The only upside to that place is the Wi-Fi connection is fast. Other than that, no upside. Uh, but we'll, we'll get more into that in a second. Um, had a fantastic time. Uh, got there on Friday, left on Monday. So I had a little time before and after. A little time to help Stan set up before the event on Friday. Um, and then all day Saturday, and then chance to do a little cleaning, a little a little trailing up there, uh, following up Sunday, a little more visit with some of the guys, and um, help clean and put up, and uh, recap, and then flew up Monday morning. And um, anyway, I had a fantastic time. You know, I, I realized it's kind of a it was kind of a interesting experience because I'm meeting you guys, the viewers, and. You guys know me, right? I'm not acting on these, these videos. There's no script. I don't practice this stuff in advance. And the most I might do is make a short list of topics that I want to touch on. That's it. And uh, it's straight off the cuff, just like you were sitting across the table from me here in the shop. And we were shooting the, you know what, having a nice cold beer or whatever. Um, so you guys know me. And, you know, folks keep walking up and introducing themselves. And I was meeting people for the first time because I don't know you guys. I haven't had the privilege until now of meeting a lot of the viewers because y'all aren't posting videos, right? So um, uh, some, some, there are some that are just people that are posting videos. Obviously, a lot of people that post videos are viewers, but there are a lot more viewers that are just viewers. And it was a great experience to meet the people behind the comments. And uh, the whole weekend went incredibly well. Everybody got along. Everybody played well together. And that says worlds for uh, the type of individual in our community, the machining community on YouTube. Uh, just like a bunch of old friends. You know, that was it. You know, it was like a reunion almost, except most of us had never met. Um, met for the first time uh, Randy Richard, a great guy. Chuck Bomarito, just as nice as you would expect. And I got a set of the screw balls. Um, nice piece, great box, beautiful workmanship. Um, I highly recommend um, if you hold any kind of work in your vice that's irregular, or if you square up stock, this is what you need right here. Uh, check Chuck's eBay uh, listings and get you some screwy balls from Chuck Bomarito. Funny, funny guy. Um, just, oh, just hilarious guy. Stan, of course, um, meeting the host. Um, another fantastic guy. Uh, just everybody was great. And I, I, I'm not even gonna say it anymore. Everyone was great. Uh, John Saunders and I got to spend some uh, time. He he was kind of hauling me around in his rental car. Um, we went out for sushi, and all I got to tell you is, we should have taken a picture. 
because when they brought that stuff to the table, it was epic. Epic sushi attack at our table. Fantastic. Had a great time. Uh, fabulous food, by the way. Uh, just fantastic. So let's go over some of the swag we got here. You saw the screw balls. Um, that's not swag, per se. Swag would be the stuff they were giving away. We, everyone got a uh, gift bag. Every single person that came got a gift bag. And there were various things in them. And then there were gift bags that Stan did for the creators. There were gift bags that Stan did for VIPs. And um, so we got lots of stuff. We got a little Noga. Uh, this is um, deburring, a little deburring tool. This is uh, part number E02006. The little uh, pocket style deburring tool. I actually have one of these in my apron and um, carry one of these around with me at all times. So this is nice to have a backup. That's nice. Nice piece. Of course, Stan threw in a little uh, airplane legit size anchor lube, two fluid ounces. You can actually take this on an airplane. Um, there you go. Uh, you can't ever have too much of this stuff, especially if you work in stainless. Um, and um, We also got a gentleman there um, presented all of the creators with flags. With American made American flags. And this was heartfelt. Easily the most touching uh, portion of the weekend. Uh, all the creators were just blown away by this. Um, these are American flags made in the United States, which is kind of hard to find. And these were presented by the North American Association of Machinist Educators. I'm honored. I feel it's a privilege. Um, later on, um, in another video, we'll be hanging this up here in the shop. Um, the flag it comes from Bob's Banners, Flags and Signs in Apple Valley, California. I'll put all the contact information for Bob's Banners, Flags, and Signs down below the video. Um, call him for your flag and banner needs. Patriotic people, supporters of the country. So this was great. Um, it, that's just it. Um, Stan gave us some, uh, if you have a surface plate, gave us some Stan Ridge uh, surface plate cleaner. Fantastic. And then I won uh, some door prizes. Um, some of it's not here yet. I got a bunch of stuff. I won a, a huge stack of four and a half inch abrasive discs from Empire Abrasives. Link will be um, down below. Uh, Empire Abrasives is a small mom and pop owned abrasive supply company and uh, you should definitely check them out. You want to keep your money uh, going to small local businesses and supporting local businesses, small businesses, Empire Abrasives, link down below. The stack was like this big, right? Um, but grinding wheels and flap wheels. And then I bought a bunch of stuff at the swap meet and all that stuff's coming back to me by truck. One of the uh, gentlemen that lives out um, north of Northern California is actually driving down to Alabama to visit relatives and he's going to stop by here and bring stuff down for both myself and um, Adam Booth, A-Bomb 79. But I did win um, Stanco Welder's apron um, as well as the vintage machinery hat and this huge stack of um, uh, four and a half inch anywhere it is. I also won uh, I donated uh, about 10 dozen 5 16 by 24 taps to the I have this perpetual supply of 5 16 by 24 taps I donated a bunch of them and then I won one big joke everybody was rolling um, John Saunders said the highlight of the weekend was having me win my own taps back and I refused to take them said we give them to someone else call those again and um, uh, that was just 
That was hilarious. Um, I believe I've got uh, some pictures of the stuff that I purchased. Um, there was a gentleman there selling a lot of tooling, literally had a pickup truck covered in the back. I bought two D13 collet noses, 5C collet noses, that'll fit the rivet. I also bought a 5C uh, dog drive plate, and again, fit the rivet. And I bought a, uh, I think it's a six inch um, D13 back plate, unused back plate, again, for the rivet. Um, amazing deals to be had by a lot of people there. There were some amazing things for sale. Uh, uh, some fabulous deals. A lot of stuff changing hands, a lot of action. If you didn't go, or if you were on the fence this year, next year, plan on it. Hopefully next year, of course, more time in advance to plan this stuff out, figure out your travel arrangements. Please, for all of our avid viewers out there, plan on being there. And this is as much for me as it is for you. Uh, primarily, I want you to come I want you to have a great time. I want you to be able to meet all the YouTube creators face to face. But from my own perspective, I want to meet you guys. I want to know who's out there on the other end watching these videos. Because uh, it's, uh, it's really neat. It's a really neat experience. Pleasure meeting all of you. And um, looking forward to doing it again. And... Uh, bringing more stuff. No more 5 16s for 24 taps, even though I'm sure I will still have some by the time I get there. Um, Travel-wise, I had two mechanical failures in different airplanes, one on the way out, one on the way back. Nice. Um, and uh, let's get back to the hotel. The Ontario airport in. First thing you will notice, and John Saunders will back me up on this, first thing you notice as you approach the lobby area of the Ontario Airport Inn is that the overpowering stench of marijuana makes you wonder if you happened to mess up and like walked into a reggae concert that you weren't aware of. It was unbelievable. And all the time, all the time, you could not walk to the lobby and not smell weed. My guess is someone working at that hotel is stepping out for a smoke break. Boo! And um, all the time. The second thing you will notice when you get to the hotel, when you go into the lobby, is that you know you've made a mistake when the checkout counter in the lobby has bulletproof glass. Made a mistake. Yep, you know you've made a mistake when. Bulletproof glass. Um, don't stay there. Don't stay the Ontario Airport in. Uh, camping in the uh, camping out in the yard would be a better choice. So that's a wrap. <clears throat> um, big, big, big thanks to Stan and Barzy Industrial for doing such a wonderful job putting this event on. Event planning is a ton of work. Um, it takes a ton of time. It takes a ton of money, right? The sponsors help make this possible. So, the, some of the big sponsors, I may not get them all, but uh, Empire Abrasives, MSC, Little Machine Shop, um, who else? I think maybe Travers was in there. There, there were um, Anchor Lube, Stan Ridge, Granite Service Plates. By the way, uh, Stan's got can get you pricing information if you want to buy something from Stanridge, if you want to buy a service plate. 
It's more reasonable than you think to get an actual NIST traceable surface plate from Stanridge than you think. Check them out. Um, anyway, the sponsors make this stuff possible. You know, it's it's not a it's not a sellout to to plug these guys because they really went above and beyond. You know, they're just making a donation out into air, basically, right? Um, but Stan did a wonderful job, and um, got more videos coming up. Uh, so stay safe in the shop, and I'll be back with you soon. Thank you.